Hi, my name is John Bosworth. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in St. Petersburg, Florida. I'd like to talk a little bit about the history of integrated treatment for dual diagnosis. Dual diagnosis, first of all, is a, is a syndrome where somebody has a severe mental illness, such as schizophrenia or um, paranoia. It can also be um, other mental illnesses that are very severe personality disorders, major depressive disorder, but along with the mental health illness is a um, substance abuse problem, a sub uh, substance abuse dependency or abuse, usually some form of alcohol or other drug addiction. Um, in, the, in the history of treating this type of disorder, what we have found that one clinician and one treatment team, an integrated approach probably makes the most sense. And there are a number of reasons for that. Um, the main reason is we have a saying in psychology that the too many cooks spoil the soup or spoil the broth. And what happens is when people are dealing with an addiction or a, um, a major mental illness, having some kind of integration or streamlined approach will probably help them be more effective in actually applying it. So, and speaking about a history of integrated approaches, we have found that usually one clinician or a treatment team, uh, a one treatment team approach is probably the best because not only does the, the client benefit from a, from a streamlined approach, but also the clinician and the team, the, the team treatment approach, we, can, we get a better view of how the client is doing on both ends of it, whether it's the mental health illness or whether it's the substance abuse or the chemical dependency. My name's John Bosworth, and we have been speaking about the history of treatment for dual diagnosis disorders.